So a little while back, I did a video of, of setting that null post and how to set that. Today, I'm going to show you the height, how to determine the, 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 the cuts and where to cut that null post in a fit for right there for the handrail to go up there. So the main thing is that I want my handrail, I got a sample piece here. I want it to hit in the center of this blank right here. So I have taken an angle of the steps, the rake of the steps, and with a bevel square and transferred it over here. So that line runs through and that represents the top of the handrail because I want the handrail centered like in the top there, okay? So the top of that handrail is going to project on down through hitting this point right there. I'm going to make a line. Now the next thing I want to do is determine that so the next thing I wanted to do is determine the height. Now I'm looking for 35 inches from the top of the handrail down to the top of this tread right here. Okay, so this is just a sample piece. So 35 inches is what I'm going for. So I have to take my measurement as if that handrail was gonna project down through and measure at that point 35 inches down and put a mark right there. And you may say, why, do you, why are you doing the 35 inches out here and not back here? Just simply measuring from here down 35 inches because the post would be too short if I cut it that way. I have to take into account the handrail projecting on through where the handrail in relation to the step right here because I want that 35 inches from the nose of this step up to the top of the handrail because that's the way the code measures it. So I determine that this nose of this step, I want it, I want the nose of the step to hit right here. I never ever ever want that step projecting out past the post, never. I want it back a little bit. You can make it whatever you want. I'm going for a half inch. So I'll take my half inch mark right here, this mark right here, I mean the nose of it, and project it parallel up and see where it crosses with my 35 inch mark, which is right at that mark. So, then I know that that's my 35 inch measurement point where those two marks cross. So that's my 35 inch mark. I come down here, I make a mark 35 inches. Now that's to the top of the tread. I really want to cut this on the bottom of the tread because I want my cut down here below. But I want my, cup on the t my cut on the top because it'll be seen. I want it down here where it's hidden. So, so then that means you'll technically be 36 inches down. So because these treads are an inch thick. So add another inch right here onto that. So that will be your actual cut mark from here back. Now I'm gonna have an inch and a half, per, I mean projecting out past the, the, the face of this tread because I'll take the measurement of this point here out to the nose here, right there out to the nose, and I'll add that my half an inch there. So it'll be a half an inch plus that measurement right there which comes up to an inch and a half for me. So, so that will determine my face, my riser cut line right there. So that's my riser cut line up here, and then cut, remember, cut at the bottom of this tread, like at the 36 inch mark, you'll go around here. Okay, so now the next thing I gotta do is find out the height from the bottom of the tread here down to the floor. And in this case, it is six and five eighths down. So that's where I will make my cut, and that will be the floor cut right there. So, so I have this part determined, but the post is actually going to cap on the sides here. It's not going to be flush. So at that point, I have to, to, have to determine the center line of this post here, which is two and a quarter inches from the side to the center. So I will transfer two and a quarter from this edge here over to the center. So I'll transfer that measurement down here. I find the center line of the post here, measure two and a quarter inches from here over. That gives me my cut line where it will be the side, cut on the side of this right here. And then just transfer my other tread cut line around from that side on around here and cut down and take the height to the floor from here, from here down to here, and that is where I cut on the floor. And then I'm done. And that's how you do it. Hot Rods Wood Shop. Give me a thumbs up. Like